You want to know how we made this using generative fill and After Effects? Well, follow along and I'll show you. I have a clip here of a girl who looks a little concerned, very dramatic shot. I'm going to go to save frame as, file, and render. All right, so now I'm going to bring that into Photoshop. I'm going to hit select and mask, and I'm going to start selecting out her pupils. Okay, so let's just expand this about five pixels. Then I'm going to hit generative fill, and I'm going to type in pearl white zombie scary eyes. Okay, that's not too scary. Let's try generating again. All right, so we'll go with that. All right, so then from here, I'm gonna create some nice fleshy bacteria growing on her face. I'm gonna type in zombie skin rashes. And I'm gonna try to be more specific, so textured. All right, I like that. Now that I have all my composites generated, I'm gonna jump ahead here and I have isolated all of my assets into separate layers. And I'm gonna bring that into After Effects as a composition. So jumping back into After Effects, I'm gonna import as a composition. And you can see it falls in the perfect spot. I'm gonna go into this pre-comp and I'm gonna bring these individual layers back into the main comp. So from here, I'm gonna change the blending modes on some of my layers here to make them blend into the skin a lot better. All right, so now obviously, now we need to motion track. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to Animation, Track and Boris FX Mocha. And with my layer selected, if I go to Effect Controls, I click on Mocha, and Mocha will open up. And from here, I'll grab the X-Blind tool. So from here, I'm gonna track a few different spots on her face. So first, I'm gonna start with the eyes. So I'm gonna select a few different high contrast spots. And I'm gonna click on Perspective, and I'm gonna click Show Surface, and Align Surface. Then I'm gonna track forward, speed this up. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna label this one eyes, and I'm gonna go ahead with the other one. I'm gonna do this kind of on the forehead right here, selecting some high contrast spots again. So now I'm gonna go to my cheek over here, track this one, and I'm gonna actually select her collar here, part of her shirt, it's basically in line with her neck, which doesn't have enough information to track. So I'm just gonna try this. And I'll just do her other cheek. So now, once I have all my tracks, good to go. I'm gonna hit the save button on the corner, close out of Mocha. And then when I go back into After Effects, I'm gonna go to my tracking data. And then I'm gonna click on Create Track Data. So I'm gonna click on Eyes. And then layer export to, I'm gonna select my eyes and then export. So now it doesn't look like anything happens, but if I hit play, you see the eyes are tracking perfectly with her eyes. So now I'm gonna do the same exact process and apply each track layer with each corresponding layer and I'll just speed this up for you. So now I have all my tracking data inserted. And if you look closely here, since I added the blending modes, it's matching the noise really nicely. So it's actually blending in so I don't actually have to add any noise to these layers. So before I show you the final results, some final changes I made, I masked out part of the bruise here to make it look like more of a scratch. And I created this growth effect by using the native effect burn film and just animating each layer in. Here's the final result.